Hello YouTubers, this is your boy, Guru, back again with a new video. And today I'm in my uh, T32 American Tier 8 Heavy Tank. And in this matchup, Fiery Salient North spawn. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about this map. I do not like going up the hill. I like going down the middle. Um, even when I'm in my heavy tank. But uh, I have to make an exception in this matchup because if you take a look at the uh, lineup, I am the top dog, the top tier heavy. Me and the IS6 are the only heavies in this team. The 5100 doesn't really count as a heavy tank. So he can play as a medium tank, but it is my responsibility and duty as the top heavy tank to go up the hill on the east side. And so I make my way there with uh, the <coughs> IS-6 and looks like the KV-85 is going up the hill as well. The 5100 is playing like a medium and uh, hanging out in the middle. I'm platooned up with my two buddies, uh, Wet Riser and uh, Malay Origin. They are in T69s, a pair of T69s, and they like playing in the middle. <coughs> Again, fulfilling my duty as the top heavy tier tank. Top heavy tank in the top tier. It's my job to go up the hill. And this isn't a bad tank to go up the hill with. As you know, the T32 has a good turret armor. And I can go hull down. And uh, be quite safe. I can take shots. They will shoot me in the turret and not do any damage. And if you also notice, in this game there is no artillery. I'm going to speed this up a little bit until I get up the hill because going up the hill is really slow and I try to snipe at the tracks these guys were providing the spots so this is what you do, you shoot down at the tracks and uh, those guys down there will shoot up here for the spots that you provide for them so I can see that the enemy 5100 is up here. Uh, we can shoot through that tank like butter, no problem. So I decide to help out this IS-6 and engage him. Move forward this a little bit. And there, instead of the 5100, I see the Tiger 2, so I shoot his lower plate. I keep on engaging him. I will speed this up a little bit. I missed the 5100. Now oh, it's still very early in the game. We are leading 2 kills to 1. I had the side of the turret there a little bit, so I keep angling my tank so hopefully I can bounce them. We're leading 3 1 and doing quite well. The IS 6 has decided to go forward. I felt it's a little too early to go forward, but uh, I had to support him. <coughs> I put him on fire, the VK2801, so very fortunate to kill him there. I try to get past the IS-6 to help him out a little bit. And uh, there is that uh, Tiger 2, I'll try to snipe his Coppola and I don't take him out, someone else takes him out. Someone's shooting us from down there and don't know who it is and don't like it. But uh, I can go through this Pershing easily, so I'm going to shoot at this Pershing while I'm giving him an angle on my tank. And the Indian Panzer as well. Ah, there it is. It is the 5100 that is sniping us, so I'll take a shot at him. And he is shooting the IS-6 in the sides. I keep sniping the 
5100, but I'm missing it, unfortunately. I'm still waiting for the 5100, but he's uh, gone under the tracks, and I won't be able to get him. Now it's time for me to rush down and kill this Persian. But uh, the IS-6 is in my way. I want to go to the left of him. Now the IS-6 is uh, going to message me in-game. He's kind of mad at me for not helping him. But I felt I couldn't get through. I wanted to you know, get ramming speed, go past his left and uh, ram this Persian. Which uh, now I do. I have some space after he's made, some, made a move. And I shoot him. And I want to ram him, but he's dead already. And I think uh, the IS-6 will get mad at me sometime here soon. <laughs> but uh, he thought I was just dicking around when I was actually trying to shoot that um, 5100 that was sniping us at the side. So he goes, WTF T32, why don't you go F you? Well, he didn't see that I was trying to snipe the 5100 that was causing us some damage. So, whatever. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the game. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. And the reason why I made this video is uh, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to highlight to you the importance of the role you play depending on what kind of tank you're driving although I don't like playing up the hill I don't like going up the hill even in my heavy tank but in this matchup in this situation it was my duty to go up the hill whether I liked it or not because I was the top tier heavy tank and when you're on, on when you're in Prokhorovka fiery Salem and you're in the top tier heavy tank it is your duty to get up the hill now if you were in a tier 9 or tier 10 game, that would be a different story. There would be other heavier tanks that would fulfill that role, to go up the hill and take up that responsibility. And maybe you could play on the 1-2 line and camp at the back and snipe. Or you can play it like a medium and go up the middle. You, have the op you, you would have the option to do that if there were other, uh, other bigger tanks than you example a E75, a tier 9 E75, then it would be his responsibility to go up the hill. But the IS-6 and the T32 being the only two top tier heavy tanks, we have the responsibility to go up the hill. And it's paid off because uh, we won this quite comfortably. And uh, you'll soon see in the stats let me finish this game over I did over 2591 damage and here are the battle results 1377 XP and I got a mastery badge, ace tanker as well, from this game. So even though I was reluctant to go up the hill, I was rewarded with a mastery badge. Uh, and that was because I also blocked 3530 and did almost 3000 damage. 37,926 credits and with the times 5 bonus uh, recently for the anniversary third year anniversary, Asia anniversary of Wargaming 10,000 XP amazing game so more of the story watch the setup of the team and fulfill your responsibility in the, whatever tank you are driving uh, thank you once again, I hope you've enjoyed the video if, you've, uh, if you liked it, uh, please give it a like and I would appreciate it even more if you gave it a follow. I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. 
Bye.